All right, tonight we're learning some new information about a 17 year old boy who was shot and killed in Prince George's County last night. This happened in Bowie on Lake Overlook Drive, and that's where our Alexis Wainwright has been all day gathering new information from family and neighbors. I've been in constant contact with the family of 17 year old Rashid Reed, and they aren't ready to speak on camera just yet, but they say they are heartbroken and upset about this. I've been here for like 23 years, so initially when I heard it, it was just a shock. Tuesday, people in the Lake Arbor community are trying to wrap their minds around what happened here. Something so close, like, you know, just never happened in this neighborhood. Kobe Van Zago so. could recall the moments around 6.30 p.m. Monday when Prince George's County Police responded to a call about a shooting on Lake Overlook Drive. When I came down, seeing seeing everything I saw, you know, the yellow tape, you know, all the, all the police cars and stuff like that, it was just like, wow, like, what's going on? Police say when they arrived, they found Reed lying on the ground with gunshot wounds. He later died here on scene. I walk through here every day as well, so hearing that he just somebody walked down on him and shot him is definitely scary, and it hurts my heart that you know someone lost their son, brother, friend. Right now, detectives are actively working to answer the questions everyone has: Who did this and why? It's crazy out here and it's hot. You know, people acting a fool. We spoke with several neighbors in this area who say they're all in shock. Some say they've seen Reed around the area and didn't even know about this until early Tuesday. I moved here probably about six months ago, and I've never heard anything going on around here as far as shootings or anybody getting robbed or anything per se like that. So here's someone that got shot and killed is very alarming to me. There is a $25,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest and indictment in this case. Anyone with any information or doorbell camera video is asked to contact police directly. In Prince George's County, Alexis Wainwright, WUSA 9.